Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. At Society, Adam and Chelsea discuss Connor wanting them to get back together as a family. He wonders where it's coming from. Chelsea thinks it's maybe because he sensed something between them. Adam doesn't think they gave any of that away to Connor. Chelsea says they have to be sure not to give him false hope. Adam says, of course we can't. Chelsea really thought Connor had accepted the fact that the two of them weren't going to be a couple again. Just then, Billy walks in with Phyllis. Phyllis greets them and Adam nods Phyllis. She asks about Connor, and they say he's doing better. Chelsea says hi to Billy, who says hi back, but walks to the bar. Phyllis says he's in a hurry and follows. Chelsea tells Adam that Billy's angry. Adam thought he'd put on a better act than that. Adam asks if they're going to have to feel guilty now every time they see Billy or Sally. Chelsea reminds him they hurt them badly. Adam doesn't like how Billy blew her off. Chelsea points out she cheated on him twice and says they'll just have to live with the discomfort. At the bar, Phyllis remarks on the frostiness between Billy and Chelsea Please tell me she didn't dump you for Adam. Billy says she didn't leave him for Adam, and they're not back together. Phyllis thinks something has happened between the two of them. Billy tells her to stop, she's digging for gossip. His personal life is off-limits. Mind your own business. Phyllis says fine, but points out they're working together. There's a certain amount she needs to know. If there's bad blood, it will have an impact on their company. Maybe it would help you to talk to a friend. Billy says he's fine. Phyllis thinks he's about to explode. At Newman, Victoria presses Victor to respond to her proposal about Billy. He snarks that this ex-son-in-law is the gift that keeps on giving. He refuses to reconsider buying him out. They debate as to whether this is just good business, as Victor claims. Victoria wants her mother to help her out, but she's with her father on this. She can't always bail Billy out. Nick walks in and Nikki asks, is everything all right? He shakes his head, no, it isn't. Nick tells them that Sharon is lashing out and Daniel and Lucy. He describes the scene in society. Victoria can understand her being upset. Nick says it's beyond upset and it's not an isolated incident. He feels the accident was a trigger. Every time she's around Daniel and Lucy, it sets her off. Victor asks if they've spoken to her. Nick says she shrugs it off and claims it's her new meds. He doesn't know what to think. Sharon is at the point where she's actively avoiding them. He knows they're not big fans of her, but he was hoping for some family advice. Nikki and Victoria reassured Nick and ask how they can help. Victor asks what he thinks is wrong with her. Nick's not sure. They don't know if she's keeping up with her doctor's appointments or even being honest with him. He wonders if he should bypass Sharon and go directly to her doctor himself. In the motel room, Sharon listens as Maria tells her on the phone that she's in Madison. What? Madison? Why? She blurts. Maria says she's knocking on her hotel room door. Sharon stammers and asks her to hold on. Cameron mutters. I told you your family was going to check your story. How are you going to get yourself out of this? Sharon goes back to the call and claims she was taking a sip of water. Maria asks her to let her into her hotel room. Sharon says she's not there. She's out for a walk. She's fine, but was just a little bit dizzy. Maria wants to meet up with her, but Sharon says that's not necessary. Maria offers to handle the meeting. Sharon says the CEO canceled the meeting. Maria asks, so, you came all the way to Madison for nothing. Sharon chirps, it looks like we both did. Sorry, I will see you back at home. Love you, honey. Bye. She disconnects and Maria looks stunned on the other end. Cameron complains that she shouldn't have cut Maria off. Now she'll never let it go. Sharon's phone rings and Cameron bellows, answer the phone. Sharon does, and Maria tells her she hung up before she got to finish. Are you mad at me or something? Sharon says no, she must not have heard her is all. She repeats that she'll see her at home, but Maria wants to meet up in Madison and hang out. 
Sharon wants to just meet up at home. She needed some time to herself. Maria thinks she doesn't sound like herself. She would like to see her before they head back. Sharon snips, Maria, stop it. She rails at her about coming to Madison to check up on her. You came here to make sure I wasn't off somewhere spinning out. Maria denies it. Sharon rants that this is all making her wonder if Faith really had a crisis.